Sitavanahalli Nijalingappa the 10th of December 1902 to the 8th of August 2000 was a senior Congress politician and the chief minister of Karnataka then Mysore state between 1956 and 1958 and once again between 1962 and 1968 He played an important role in the Indian freedom movement as well as in the Karnataka unification movement Topic Early life Nijalingappa was born in a village in Bellary district, in the erstwhile Madras Presidency of British India in the present-day Indian state of Karnataka. His father was a small businessman and mother a homemaker and a devotee of the deity Shiva. Nijalingappa lost his father when he was five. In an interview, Nijalingappa recalled that his father's ancestors were all rich profligates, and that they dissipated their wealth on gambling, drinking and womanizing. He added that his Mother's father helped his parents, but his family were still very poor. He grew up in Devanagir and joined secondary school in Chitradurga in 1919. During this time, he was influenced by the political writings of Annie Besant. He graduated in arts from the Central College, Bengaluru during this time stayed in Rao Bahadur Dharmapravartha Gubi Thodadapa Hostel 1921 in 1924 and got his law degree from the Law College, Pune in 1926. As a child, he was given a traditional education by an old teacher named Virapa Master. Thus, like the other leaders of the Indian freedom movement, he also had a unique blend of both traditional and modern education. The life and the vachanas of Basavishwar and the philosophy of Shankaracharya, as well as the course of the Indian freedom movement and the teachings of Mahatma Gandhi had the utmost effect on his mind. <laughs> Political career Nijalingappa attended the Congress sessions as a spectator. It was in 1936, when he came into contact with Dr. N. S. Hardikar, that he began to take an active interest in the organization. He served at first as a volunteer, rising to be the president of the Pradesh Congress Committee and finally the president of the All India Congress Committee in 1968. He became president of the Mysore Congress and was also a member of the Historic Constituent Assembly from 1946 to 1950. Later, he was elected as a member of the first Lok Sabha from the Chitaldrug constituency in 1952. The services rendered by Nijalingappa towards the unification of Karnataka was enormous, and in recognition of the same, he was chosen as the first chief minister of the unified state. Then again for the second time, he was elected to the same responsible post and he continued in that post up to April 1968. He may well be called the maker of modern Karnataka. The state owes much to him for development of agricultural, irrigation, industrial and transport projects. He became the Congress president when people in many parts of the country had expressed their distrust in it in the 1967 elections. He chaired two Congress sessions in 1968 and 1969 held in Hyderabad and Faridabad respectively. Due to his untiring efforts, the Congress party was reinvigorated. However, the factional feud between various factions of the party increased and finally resulted in the historic split of the party in 1969. He was the last president of undivided Indian National Congress and had to see, his party being split into Congress ruling supporting Indira Gandhi and Congress organization or syndicate Congress consisting of senior leaders like Nijalingappa himself, Neelam Sanjeeva underscore Reddy Kamaraj, Mirarji Desai and others. After the Congress split, Nijalingappa gradually retired from politics. After giving up active politics, he served as chairman of Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel Society. He was widely revered even after his retirement and was known for his simplicity and integrity. He died on 9 August 2000 at his residence in Chitradurga at the age of 97. He is fondly remembered in the Tibetan community of India because as Chief Minister of Karnataka, he gave land to Tibetan refugees for the purpose of resettlement. Karnataka today has the largest Tibetan settlements and the largest population in exile. Bailakape, six hours from Bangalore, Mungad, two hours from Hubli, Koligal and Gurupura near Bailakape are the four Tibetan settlements in Karnataka. Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Memorial. 
The memorial of Nijalingappa built beside NH4 on the outskirts of Chitradurga near Sabara was inaugurated by the Tibetan spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama on 29 January 2011. Meanwhile, Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yediyarapa declared that he would name the Sugar Research Institute at Belgaum after Nijalingapa. <laughs> 